is a member of the Shiumatsuban, a genuine, bona fide ninja. Oh, wow! A ninja? So was that one of those legendary ninja transformation techniques? Uh, anyway, what's the Shiumatsuban? It belongs to the Yashiro Commission, a secret unit under Kamisato Ayato. Now, Kamisato Ayato and the Yashiro Commission are neutral parties, so I have no right to give orders to the Shiumatsuban. However, convincing their most chronically lazy member to help us is well within my abilities. Uh -huh. Here's what I need you to do. Go into town and find evidence of the Tenryo Commission's betrayal. It would not be appropriate for me to be seen there myself. You make it sound so simple, but... Hmm? Oh, I thought you would have figured it out by now. All right then. I'll indulge you with a little more information. For a complete outsider, probing the inner workings of the Tenryo Commission is nigh on impossible. But since the three commissions work together to serve the Shogun, they have a close relationship. Someone from one of the other commissions might have an easier job of figuring out what they're up to. <laughs> Now you're following me. The Shogun's army haven't given up on their search for you yet, but with the help of this Shiu Matsuban ninja, I'm sure you'll be able to rendezvous with your friends. Don't forget, we're on a tight schedule here. Be sure to bring back the evidence in good time. What brings you here? Did you meet with the Resistance? How's the battle going? Is it safe for me to come out yet? Not just yet. We saw people patrolling on our way here! So, it's still not over. I guess you came here because you have something to discuss? I'll get someone to call for Miss Kamisato. Bear with me for one second. I see. You have been through a lot since we last met. I understand. You need evidence of the Tenryo Commission's betrayal. Let me think. Now that you mention it, there is one thing that has always concerned me. The Shogun's army has been at war with the Resistance for a long time now, but not once has the Shogun ever inquired about it. I used to think that she simply didn't care, but looking at it now, perhaps the problem all along has been with the Tenryo Commission's reports to the Shogun. Uh, what do you mean? The Tenryo Commission presides over domestic military affairs. If they ever had any intention of concealing information in their reports, we would have no way of knowing. Meanwhile, the Shogun would incorrectly conclude that the Vision Hunt Decree poses no threat and would stick to her decision. If we had access to their reports, it would confirm everything. But as I recall, the only person authorized to access that kind of official documentation is Kujo Takayuki. It's heavily guarded too. Even with Sayu's help, swiping a document from under their noses is no easy task. If only there was a way we could distract the guards just for long enough. Hmm... Uh, Yoimiya's fireworks! That's a very Toma-sounding suggestion. But it's a reasonable one. The statue of the omnipresent god is right by the Tenryo Commission. If someone set off fireworks near the statue, they certainly wouldn't ignore it. While they were preoccupied with that, Sayu could infiltrate the Tenryo Commission and take the report, as well as any other evidence she might find. Great! 
It feels like I'm getting closer and closer to being a free man again. <sighs> it feels like it's been an eternity since we last sat down and talked like this. Well, it certainly felt like it to me. I've been looking forward to seeing you again every day since I got here. This tea house used to be my favorite hiding place, but now I've honestly lost track of how long it's been since I last set foot outside of here. Oh man, I want to go to the hot spring so badly. Uh, poor Toma. Let's focus on the issue at hand. The sooner the Vision Hunt decree is abolished, the sooner Toma will be free. This was a reunion of sorts, but there's no time to catch up. We'll celebrate properly when it's all over. Ooh, let's play the hot pot game again! You're still thinking about that? The Tenryo Commission is heavily guarded. Be careful when you get near. Let's meet back here afterwards. Alright, first let's go to Hanamizaka to find Yoimiya! Yoimiya! We need an extra large firework! The super duper big kind! Extra large firework? <laughs> you sure came to the right person! As it happens, I made this really souped up one just a couple days ago. But it's so powerful that I haven't found anywhere I can test it out yet. Huh, may as well give it to you. Let me know how it turns out. Don't forget, move well away from it after you light the fuse and uh, try to avoid burning your clothes. Also, it's best that you cover your ears. Uh, why does Paimon feel so nervous all of a sudden? <laughs> Don't worry, it's just a firework, come on! What's the worst that could happen? We'll give it a try! Thanks, Yaimiya! Hmm, pretty much how I thought. There are loads and loads of people. If one of them spots me, I'll get caught. We need to get rid of them, or I won't be able to sneak inside. After I get the document, let's meet back at Komari Tea House, okay? Also, if I do get caught, please come rescue me. Is this really a good idea? Uh, anyway, let's make our way to the statue. Careful does it, watch out for guards and don't get caught. Well, how did it go? Well done. Let's wait for news from Sayu. <sighs> I know exercise helps you grow, but this was a little too much exercise. I feel so dizzy. Everyone is spinning. No, I can't sleep yet. There was something important I was supposed to do first. Oh, right, yeah, I got it! I didn't know how to find the document you guys were talking about, so I just swiped a whole bunch of stuff that looks suspicious. Here you go. Whew, I'm going to sleep now. My lady, what are we looking at? This sealed envelope must be an official report that the Tenryo Commission is preparing to present to the Shogun. In addition, we have... correspondence with the Fatui. It seems that Gujiaya was right. They have been fomenting unrest behind the scenes. This should be ample evidence. Please take them to Gujiaya. I trust she will have a plan for the next step. I will also gather some people to try and root out the rest of the Fatui and Inazuma. Still, mind yourself when you face the Shogun. I still get goosebumps just thinking about her trying that blade. <sighs> Again, we'll just have to trust Gujiai. She is close to the Shogun, so maybe she will have a way. Uh, if Paima remembers correctly, it should be time for our meeting with Yaimiko soon. Let's pack up our things and get ready to head to the Grand Narukami Shrine. Lady Guji, here I am, as promised. Rest assured I came here alone and told no one about this trip. I knew you would keep your promise after all. I'm sure you've barely been able to take your mind off it these past few days. Have you managed to get any sleep at all? I... I... You're quite mistaken. I would never doubt the leaders of my clan. So, where is your proof? 
Ah, how wonderful. Everyone's keeping their promises today. Oh, you wouldn't believe what we had to go through to get our hands on this stuff. Hand them to Sara. She can examine them for herself. What is this? I see this document bears the official seal of the head of the Kujo clan. And it doesn't look like a forgery. I don't understand. Not a single word about the resistance, Sangonomia, or the situation on the front line. What about the soldiers who gave their lives on the front line? Or the hardship endured by the people? Do they deserve no mention? Utter disregard for human life. Why would they want to hide it? For the sake of the Vision Hunt decree, of course. Don't you think the Shogun might reconsider her policy if all of the things you just mentioned appeared in this report? So, the Tenryo Commission... They are deliberately deceiving the Shogun? Yes. Now, who else do you think might be benefiting from the Vision Hunt decree? This is a letter from the Tenryo Commission to the Fatui! The head of the Kujo clan kept this a secret from the Shogun, too! <sighs> well... The things you wanted to see, but also wished not to see, are here before you. Surely. You aren't planning to turn a blind eye to them? So everything I've ever held on to... It's all... How could they? Ugh! This betrayal is unforgivable! Takayuki, you've got some explaining to do! Kujosara seems pretty angry, huh? Looks like our Tenryo Rebellion is successfully underway! Yep, yep! Let's catch up with her! Hold on, Traveler. There's something else we need to discuss. Huh? Last time you entered the Plain of Euthymia, it was in front of the statue of the Omnipresent God, correct? You must find a way to recreate the circumstances of that day. If you can get the Raiden Shogun to open her heart to you once more before the statue of the Omnipresent God, you will have the opportunity you need. Take this with you as a farewell gift. What is it? The Omamori from the Grand Narukami Shrine are very potent indeed. I thought I'd put one aside for you. <laughs> if you find yourself at your wit's end, take it out and see what happens. Maybe your prayers will be answered, and all your problems will disappear in the blink of an eye. Or if you ever think about me during your journey, take it out, won't you? Who knows? Maybe I'll just end up appearing right in front of you. Cut it out, Fox Lady! This isn't the time or place to be poking fun at the Traveler! <laughs> I'm sorry. Well then, time for you to face my hopeless fool of a friend. I'm counting on you. You followed me here? You've got guts, I'll give you that. Since you are a witness, I suppose I can shield you from arrest. At least until I have received an explanation from Takayuki. But if it turns out that you have been deceptive in this matter, then not only will you be arrested immediately, but you'll also be charged with one more crime. Do I make myself clear? Hmm. Good. Stop! Sara, have you gone insane? How dare you disregard my orders? M Master, I... Go on, ask him! Don't let him intimidate you! Master Takayuki, I've seen the report to the throne and the letter to the Fatui. Please, tell me why! So this is how my documents went missing from headquarters? You stole them. Should I take your words to mean that... These documents were not forgeries. They were really penned by your own hand. Please tell me, Master. I need to know. Has the Tenryo Commission really betrayed the Shogunate? Hmm. Yes, I have dealings with the Fatui, and yes, the report you saw was penned by my hand. <laughs> he just came right out and admitted it! The diplomats from Snezhnaya promised a very generous reward indeed. And all they requested of me in return was to see that the Vision Hunt decrees upheld. For too long, the Kujo clan's position has been coveted by so many. There is no shortage of clans who would tear us down at the first opportunity. So, when the chance arose to gain the backing of another powerful nation and crack down on our enemies at the same time, 
It appeared to me to be an excellent deal. I simply saw no need to inform you, Sara. But you worship the Shogun. How can you betray her after all this time and act like it's nothing? Betrayal? How can you call this a betrayal? The Fatui may think they are using me, but the reverse is true. What could they possibly hope to achieve? When the lightning strikes in Inazuma, they shall fall to their knees and tremble! Paralyzed by fear and trepidation. After all, none can contend with the supreme power of the almighty Raiden Shogun and the Musou no Hitotachi! Yeah! He doesn't worship the Raiden Shogun herself, but her power is a warrior! Especially the Musou no Hitotachi. In fact, he seems to be way too into it. But Master, what about loyalty? Ever since I was adopted by the Kujo clan, you taught me the importance of loyalty from servants to their superiors. But it's clear to me now that you wanted my loyalties to stop with the Kujo clan. So you were scared that I would betray you one day? You hypocrite! Preaching about virtue just to mask your own wretched selfishness! Selfishness? I am but safeguarding the eternity of the Kujo clan. I'm quite sure the almighty Shogun would be sympathetic to that. As would the former head of our clan. Uh, hate to say it, but his ego is getting in the way. If he thinks the Kujo clan is a match for the Fatui, Paimon thinks he's in for a nasty surprise. I've doubted the Vision Hunt decree in the past. I asked myself, is this truly the correct thing to do, even though it goes against what I know in my heart to be right? But I chose to obey the Shogun. For as long as she leads the way, who among us is qualified to judge between right and wrong when we have not yet reached the end of the path? But now I realize that the path of eternity is one without end, while this path, it has long since been defiled by your selfish ways. So I'm going to tell the Shogun the truth about all this. If nothing else, my conscience will be clear. <laughs> Stubborn and futile. Report to the Shogun if you so wish. The Kujo clan's position is now unshakable and nothing you can do will change this. The Shogun is at Tenshukaku receiving a Shnezhnayan diplomat. A harbinger by the name of Signora. Signora's the one behind all this? Ugh, not her again! Way back in Rito, Lady Haragi said something about the Kanjo Commissioner meeting with an arrogant sounding woman. <sighs> we should have known. A diplomat from Snezhnaya? Well, if she thinks she's leaving Inazuma in one piece, she's got another thing coming. Do you think she's gonna go barge into Tenshukaku right now? You can say that again! Alright then, let's do this! The way people charge in here as they please, so uncivilized. If I didn't know this was Tenshukaku, I might have mistaken it for some kind of street market. Have you learned your lesson now? The right to punish Inazumans for their crimes is mine alone, not yours, Signora. Then I apologize, Almighty Shogun. I know, I know, you can't get me out of your mind. But you really don't need to call my name all the time. Don't go thinking I'm surprised to see you here. I'm well aware that you hate me, with the way you follow me around like a dark shadow. Ah, so you came to expose my crimes in front of the Shogun? <laughs> I'm just a Snezhnayan diplomat. I'm afraid I have no idea what you're talking about. She doesn't take us seriously at all! Stop talking about people and things that I care nothing about. 
They were nobodies to begin with, and their names will be forgotten. But now, at least, they get to be building blocks in the grand revolution to realize eternity. Is that not the greatest honor they could hope for in their tiny little lives? Almighty Shogun, do correct me if I'm wrong. Hmm. That's ancient history. You certainly love to hold a grudge. The Tsaritsa's dream is the noblest and purest thing in all the world. These other mundane details you insist on mentioning? They're just necessary sacrifices, that's all. You? Stop me? <laughs> For what it's worth, I've grown tired of seeing you around as well. But I didn't have you down as someone quite so foolhardy. Before you go saying something you can't take back, remember that you're Inazuma's most wanted criminal. I suggest you consider your circumstances very carefully. Charging into Tenshukaku uninvited and lecturing me in front of the Shogun wasn't the brightest move. Don't you think it's time you stopped digging? I'm not sure you realize quite how much distance there is between us, both in status and in strength. I challenge you to a duel before the throne. <sighs> Proceed. My, you're full of surprises today. So you've learned to make the law of the land work for you too, hmm. I'll admit that I never expected to be in a situation where the two of us were on equal footing. You are aware that the loser must die. Are you sure this is what you want? Traveler! <laughs> then I will deign to share this last dance with you. Till death do us part! <laughs> so strong, but but how? I am a Snezhnaian diplomat. You know what happens if you lay a finger on me. I swear, if you strike me, I will make sure... The Fatui will make sure that your precious Inazuma... Stop! I order you! And you! Filthy rats! All of you! You are the enemy of eternity. <laughs> but as the victor, I acknowledge your honor. Therefore, I shall allow you to leave Tenshukaku alive. Uh, the Raiden Shogun isn't gonna let us off just like that, right? Oh, the air feels suffocating. It must be the right in Shogun's almightiness! One strike from the Shogun and now Senor is gone! She got what she deserved, but Paimon still can't help but feel upset! Why are they doing it? Why are the Harbingers collecting 
all the no-seeds. Huh? Traveler, you got a headache? Shin up. Let's get out of this place. Uh, Paimon feels unsettled. Also, when the Shogun executed Signora with the Muso no Hitotachi, it was unbelievably powerful. It seems impossible to defend against. And if so, we've got no hope whatsoever of defeating her in combat. So, to me, Captain, the Eye Maker wants us to go back inside the plane of Gethania by the statue of the omnipresent god. Oh, but we'll be like lambs to the slaughter, won't we? Oh, maybe we could put this plan on hold for a while. <laughs> There's the sound of electro zapping in the air. Hyron can barely breathe. Traveler, are you okay? You're so silent! Sounds like there's a lot of noise coming from outside Tenshikaku. Has a fight broken out or something? Oh, the guards seem really nervous. Well, let's go see what the situation is, shall we? There will always be those who dare to brave the lightning's glow. We meet again. Indulge my curiosity. What is the reason that I find you standing here before me once again? Do you hope your foolhardiness will shelter those people? Or was it simply a means of seeking an audience with me? Oh? <laughs> Surely you didn't rouse me from my state of eternal meditation only to tell me this. If so, then you underestimate me. I am quite well informed about the Vision Hunt Decree. Not so. Only everything that pertains to eternity. The Vision Hunt Decree has my tacit approval. The Fatui's actions thus far do not constitute a threat to eternity. Otherwise, they would have been purged long ago. Individual ambition is inherently incompatible with eternity. What you might not realize is that all too often, people have far more to lose by chasing their dreams. Consider this. No one will lose their life on account of having their vision taken away. Rather, those who have lost their lives are the ones who insisted on pursuing their own aspirations, are they not? Traveler, your existence is unique in my eyes. 
There seems to be limitless uncertainty in you. To put it another way, you are the furthest thing from eternity. So I won't insist that you comprehend the meaning of my actions. What matters is that I tread the path of eternity on my people's behalf. That's right. Huh. I'm surprised you understand it so well. Anyway, you're looking for a chance to shake my will, aren't you? Hmm. So be it. Well then, you who would defy eternity, time for you to enlighten me. Do you wish to become the enemy of eternity, brother? As one with wind and cloud! Shut up! In fear! Flood of frost! A crush! This ends now! Eye for an eye! Instabilities will be removed! Inferior. Lightning falls on the land of eternity. <laughs> Let us cross swords. Inferior. You are an enemy that requires special attention. Inferior. Dear me, aren't you cutting it rather close? Hmm? Miko, this was your doing? <sighs> now, now. Don't forget who taught you how to place your consciousness in objects. Surely you don't think your ambition alone is enough to shake A's will, do you? Though you alone are here, they too have ambitions which they long since entrusted to you. Now then, close your eyes. We can abolish the Vision Hunt Decree! <sighs> You've lost, eh? <sighs> yes, I have. Why can you not trust your people, and in the power of their ambitions? These ambitions have transcended space and time. They are something that no one can snuff out. Is this the lesson you learned from your journey in Liyue? There are nations where humans cast their god aside and stride forward. So are we to just abandon the notion of progress for the sake of wishful thinking? You and I have both witnessed the great loss that progress can bring. Eternity. Eternity is the only way. When lightning flashes, it casts a shadow. My name means shadow. With my blade, I purged all obstacles to progress. And yet, something was lost with each step forward. 
In the end, I even lost her. The tales are still retold in the shade of every Thunder Sakura. But the wounds left on our nation by that terrible loss still ache. Never stop searching, even if only for a brief flash of light. If nothing else, we have the present moment. She said that once. But I've seen a nation strike forward and lose everything to the heavenly principles. Perhaps only if time stands still will the lightning's glow never fade. The present moment is a fragile illusion. Only eternity can bring us closer to the heavenly principles. I am no longer the shadow. Mine is the most supreme and noble form. Let power over the realm be vested within me. In this form shall I honor my subject's dream, for a land of eternity, unchanging forevermore. The heavenly principles. Irrelevant nonsense as far as I'm concerned. When all's said and done, all you really want is to protect your beloved Inazuma forever and ever. Isn't that right? <laughs> that would be something of an oversimplification. But is this nation worth existing for eternity? Stripped of ambitions, stripped of the potential for change. It does nothing more than simply... exist. It is a hollow shell of a nation. Hmm. I wonder what loss would it really be to anyone if such a nation were destroyed? Miko, retract your words. Never changing eternity is the promise I made to my people. But what your people need from you is not your promises. They want your attention. Your divine gaze. <laughs> you mean visions? Humans have a lifespan of barely a hundred years. They cannot afford to bear any extra losses. But I have experienced it all. That is why I have chosen to guide them along the correct path toward eternity. <sighs> But eternity is far too cruel a fate for you, eh? Uh, for me? Not only have you stopped paying attention to the world, but you have stopped paying attention to yourself. It must have been terribly lonely here, all alone, for centuries on end. But it is necessary. You will miss much by refusing progress. You seek to prevent loss, but have you considered all you are losing by remaining here in stasis for all eternity? You are obviously lonely, and yet, for the sake of eternity, you choose to stretch your loneliness out to infinity. Tell me this. Why is the sky here that was once so dark glowing again? Why now? This is your plane of euthymia. It's your inner world. So it can only mean that you are happy to see me again. You have found the loneliness here unbearable for a long time now, haven't you? I... Uh, have nothing to say to that. <laughs> but I have so much to say to you. Let me tell you all that has happened over the last few centuries. <laughs> How long will that take? As a fox envoy, I have an excellent memory. I recall every detail of the last few centuries with perfect clarity. So it will probably take me another few centuries to relay it to you. <laughs> <sighs> Miko, I never thought I would have the chance to meet with you like this again. <sighs> Seeing you again is a change to eternity. And a very nice surprise. <laughs> Since you are willing to admit that, I suppose that means we can still be friends? <laughs> what a childish conversation this is. Anyway, now that I have been defeated by you and your plan, I will honor your wish to abolish the Vision Hunt Decree. But, with regards to eternity, and the question of whether this nation should move forward, I need time to give it some thought. <laughs> 
you are the one who's been acting like a child from the very beginning. As promised, the Raiden Shogun abolished the Vision Hunt Decree. Finally, her people's wishes penetrated her locked heart. Beyond the plane of Euthymia, she saw what eternity means in the eyes of the world. When one's fervent ambition burns brightly, the gods will cast their gaze upon you. Some ambitions have the power to heal wounds, to bring victory, to inspire hope. But some ambitions outlive their masters long after the soul ascends. They remain as they were in the beginning. Burning bright and true for all eternity. the triumphant traveler and why might you be visiting the shrine a sign of piety perhaps you literally told us to come meet you here <laughs> i was just joking i've been waiting for you seems like someone's in a pretty good mood mm-hmm catching up with an old friend i hadn't seen in years was truly delightful by the way i heard that you had a duel before the throne with a Fitui Harbinger, no less. Courageous and astute. I must say, I am most impressed. Defeating Signora head-on in a duel means that your strength exceeds my expectations. Still, you did end up victorious. I gather congratulations are in order. <sighs> sure feels good to finally thwart the Fatui plan for once. They caused plenty of trouble along the way, but at the very least, they didn't get their hands on another Gnosis. Wait a second. Did you say Gnosis? As in, the little thing that looks something like a chess piece? Yep, that's the one. You've seen one too? Gnosis belong to the Seven. They're what keep them connected to Celestia. Oh. W what's wrong? I handed that over. You did what now? Well, how else was I supposed to save your skin from the Balladeer, exactly? The Balladeer is number six of the Fatui Harbingers. In terms of strength, he is superior to Signora. I'm not the kind of person who risks life and limb for any old reason. It, it, you did... Uh, uh, for once, Paimon just does not know what to say! After A created her puppet vessel, she no longer had anywhere to put it. As her erstwhile closest friend, A handed it over to me, and I've kept it in the Grand Narukami Shrine ever since. She no longer needs the power of the Gnosis, and in any case, she tells me she has severed ties with Celestia. Thus the Gnosis became not only useless, but also a potential source of conflict. Is that not a good bargain, exchanging it for the one at the core of the plan? Judging by the results, at least, I dare say I struck a good deal. <laughs> uh, when you put it like that, Paimon has to agree. The Traveler is worth more than a Gnosis. <sighs> well, what's done is done, and Paimon heartily thinks we'll be getting it back now. Let's leave the past in the past. Um, so, anyway... You still haven't told us why you called us here today. <laughs> it's to thank you. Really? You intend to travel all over Tavat, 
And the time has come for the Inazuma leg of your trip to come to an end, has it not? As a mark of my gratitude, I will answer any questions you may have about the road ahead or the events of the past. What would you like to know about? That puppet was built with technology that has been lost to time. Perhaps she, as a god, is the only one privy to the knowledge of its origins. Still, there is one other thing on this topic that I suspect you may be curious to know. Before A began modifying her own godly form, she took it upon herself to create a prototype puppet. So, you mean there are three Raiden Shokens? No. The prototype was merely a proof of concept. Its appearance and intellect were not based on A. It was a test. The original plan was for A to simply discard it. But perhaps A thought this to be too cruel, because in the end she chose only to seal the power within it. Later, this puppet wandered Inazuma as an ordinary human male with his own consciousness. Until... the Fatui took an interest in him. Ugh! Not the Fatui! Some eccentric geniuses in the ranks of the Fatui made adjustments to the prototype, not only unsealing his power, but very likely rendering him even more formidable than his original specifications. Mm-hmm. The object of divine creation is now the one who has taken possession of the Gnosis. And the prototype puppet is now known as the Balladeer. What the... what a crazy story! It is, isn't it? Who can say whether it's coincidence or destiny? I'm surprised an outlander like you is aware that there was once a change of Electro Archon. Few citizens of Inazuma are aware of this. Morats told us. He said that the Electro Archon Ball has passed away. Yes. The truth of the matter is that there were two twin gods, Baal and Beelzebul. Twin gods? They won the Archon War together. And when Baal established the Shogunate, Beelzebul became her Kagemusha, or Shadow Warrior. In other words, she acted as Baal's body double. Beelzebul is A, with whom we are now both acquainted. Baal's name was Makoto. As far as the world was aware, there were not two, but one. They complemented each other, and they ruled Inazuma jointly. So there was no need for the public to know the truth. In fact, the name Ball and the title of Raiden Shogun was understood to refer to both of them. Right up until... Until what? Makoto died several hundred years ago in a war that I was not personally involved in. Since then, A has assumed the Shogunate. Losing her sister must have been super hard on A. That was when A began to change. Makoto was her greatest loss. Paimon feels like she understands A a lot better now after finding that out. So what kind of god was Makoto? I didn't spend a great deal of time with her, but my impression was... she was a gentle god, who in each moment cherished the beauty of what was before her. Wow! Sorry, I haven't a clue. I'm also unfamiliar with the god you describe. But if you still have doubts about A, I would say they are misplaced. Not only does she not fit your description, but she voluntarily gave up her Gnosis long ago, severing her ties with Celestia in the process. That's good to hear. Otherwise, given that I'm her familiar, it could have made our relationship rather awkward, don't you think? Don't worry, we aren't looking to pick a fight with you. <laughs> I wish you the best of luck. May you soon discover the truth behind it all. As for your brother's whereabouts, I will use all the resources at my disposal to investigate it, and I will also borrow some of Ayato's people from the Shiumatsuban. I'll let you know if I find out anything. Consider it part of my means of thanking you. After leaving Inazuma, hmm, I think it would be easiest for you to go to Sumeru. Ooh, Sumeru! We've run into lots of scholars from there on our journey so far! Yes, well, Sumeru is the land of the God of Wisdom, where the quest for wisdom and knowledge is never-ending. But their obsession gives rise to some truly inexplicable things. For example, in Sumeru, knowledge is holistically managed as a resource. Knowledge is a resource? 
Yes. I don't know whether it was the sages or Lesser Lord Kusanali who came up with the idea. Lesser Lord Kusanali? That's a cute name. Oh, you haven't heard. Lesser Lord Kusanali is the deity in whom the people of Sumeru place their faith. It's their chosen term of endearment for her. I'm sure you must have some things to discuss with her, too. I wish you all the best. Are you sure? Okay, then. Oh, Traveler, do you still have the Omamori I gave you? Keep it safe. Is that all you intend to do with it? There was me thinking that you might hang it around your neck to show off to the world, telling everyone who inquired that it was given to you by none other than Yai Miko, the wise and beautiful. Who in their right mind would do that? <laughs> okay, I'll stop. Now a question for you. Traveler, what is your ambition? I see. But that is merely a small goal, based on what preoccupies you here and now. Your ambition should be something that transcends the world below and the starry sky above. Something that shines in unison with fate itself. Perhaps the reason you do not possess a vision is that such an ambition has yet to be engendered within you. It's a possibility. Continue on your journey, and maybe that moment will come to pass.